Лебеду? Банана? Стюарт? Матарину? Банана! Minions. Have you ever wondered where they came from? They've been on this planet far longer than we have. They're all different. But they all share the same goal. To find the biggest, baddest villain to serve. Welcome to Kermit Uncut. If you're someone who follows box office figures, you'll be aware that Minions has just knocked Jurassic World off the top spot at the UK box office. Minions has gone straight in at number one. It's opening weekend. It took something like 11.6 million pounds. It's done extraordinarily well. Now, Jurassic World opened bigger and is still the biggest grossing movie of the year. Minions has gone straight in at number one, despite some lukewarm reviews. Not for me, I have to say, I really, really enjoyed it. I thought it was a terrific prequel to Despicable Me and Despicable Me 2. In fact, I laughed more at Minions than I did at Despicable Me 2. Why? Well, Despicable Me 2 had more Minions than Despicable Me, and Minions has even more Minions. But over the weekend, some people were sort of grouchy and said, well, you know, why is it so funny? I mean, the, the story isn't great and it doesn't have terrific character development and there's no depth and it's not like a Pixar movie. And I said, no, but it made me laugh. And the thing that made me laugh the most is a clip which has been widely seen uh, on the internet, it's been widely trailed, in which one of the minions says, banana. Respect. Power. Banana. Banana. I know it doesn't sound like the funniest joke on earth, but believe me, I have been laughing about one of the minions saying banana, banana for about a week now. And it's going to carry on. It reminds me of when Despicable Me 2 came out. You'll remember, I thought, but them was the funniest thing I'd ever heard. And for months afterwards, the radio show that I do with Simon Mayer was just full of jokes about but them. <laughs> and I started to wonder, what is it? about a really, really dumb verbal joke that makes it so beautiful. And from your point of view, what's the thing that you've laughed at the most that when you think about it, you think, well, that really shouldn't be funny. I mean, button um, is going to make me laugh for years. Banana is going to make me laugh for years. You ever see a film called Repossessed with Leslie Nielsen? It's a terrible exorcist spoof with Linda Blair in it, and it's a really, really bad movie. There's one great joke in that movie. The great joke is that in the middle of the exorcism sequence, which isn't funny and isn't satirical, Leslie Nielsen blows a raspberry at the possessed Linda Blair. I, I, I laughed for about five minutes. Woody Allen, people always talk about Woody Allen's fantastic fantastic verbal dexterity. My favourite Woody Allen gags tend to be slapstick gags. That brilliant moment in Love and Death when he's putting a rifle together and the rifle falls apart in his hands. That brilliant moment at the beginning of Sleeper when he's in the electric wheelchair and running over everybody's feet. I mean, I like a really good dumb gag. And as far as I'm concerned, Minions has some of the smartest dumb gags. Yes. <laughs> Yes, it's terribly cine literate. Yes, there's a gag that appears to be about Stanley Kubrick faking the moon landings. But just the little yellow weeble going, banana, has given me such joy. So, from your point of view, what's the joke that you've laughed at the most that when you think about it, really is the silliest joke? Let me know. You came for the Queen's crown, did you? Well, you're going to have to get through me. <laughs> 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 oh, no, 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 no